Pay attention. We're going to play a game. Try to count the number of signs on this winding forest road. Ready? Go. Did we scare you? There's a good chance you just jumped back in your seat. But we're not just messing with you. The reaction you just had could actually save your life. This is a show about your brain and how you respond to fear. It's not comfortable. Turn on the lights. We're going to put you through a series of games and experiments. One, two, three. God. And if you play along, you'll be scared. Get out of my house! You'll get that tingling feeling down your spine. Uh. And you might just learn how to face your fears. <laughs> Prepare to be afraid on Brain Games. going out of their way to avoid scary situations, obviously. But then you have other people spending millions of dollars watching scary movies, reading Stephen King novels, or coming to haunted houses like Nightmare right here in New York City. But it turns out that a healthy dose of fear might actually help keep you alive. Let's get back to that scare we gave you a minute ago. Did you jump when the demon popped up? If you did, that's a completely normal reaction. But why were you scared? He's just an actor in makeup and latex. There's no way he could possibly hurt you. <laughs> Simple jump scares like this one show you just how powerful your brain's fear response is. Fear is your brain's alarm system, triggered by sudden motions, sounds, anything that could threaten your safety or survival. So how good is your brain at recognizing potential threats? might be better than you think. To find out, let's play a game. Watch this series of images very closely. Ready? Go. Do you recall seeing any shoes or keys? Probably not. At this speed, 80% of the people we showed this to don't see either the shoes or the keys. We'll slow it down. Did you see them this time? You probably did. Now, we're gonna play a different series of images and test you on them after. Ready? Go. Did you happen to notice any snakes or spiders? Chances are you did. In case you're thinking we slowed down the images, I assure you we did not. All we did was substitute the shoes and keys with pictures of snakes and spiders. Why did one set of images jump out at you while the other didn't? To answer that question is Dr. Cameron Fallopour, an expert on the psychological effects of fear. Your brain scans these spiders and snakes much faster because to our ancestors, these animals were a threat. Your brain has evolved to recognize them because from an evolutionary point of view, it would help our survival. So what's going on in your brain that allows you to spot these threats so quickly? There's a part of the brain called the amygdala that is constantly monitoring the input from your senses for signs of danger. In many ways, the amygdala is like a smoke detector in your home. It may sit inactive for long stretches of time, but as soon as you encounter a dangerous situation, your amygdala sounds the alarm.